This year we have brought some of our key innovations, uh, which really are a contribution to smart mining. Key to that is our motion matrix technology, which we use in, uh, in our ground engagement tools. And uh, we've got next, our next, next generation mining, which is our, our rebranded re uh, uh, technology uh, for Sinatrex. And uh, these two innovations really contribute to smart mining in that it allows us, uh, as a business, uh, to contribute to how our customers are able to predict, for instance, in maintenance. More predictable maintenance allows the, our customers to be able to use equipment for longer, which contributes to sustainability in that we want our equipment uh, to work for as long as possible. We don't want to... One of the challenges that we've had in the world in terms of transition has been that transition is material heavy. So if we use less material by being more proactive in terms of maintenance, by using materials fully, it really does contribute to sustainability for the world. And then when you look at uh, motion matrix, it really allows us to just keep people out of harm's way. It allows us to be able to see what is on the bed when you dig up your material, you are able to predict the size, you see the size, you can see what is going to the, to the crusher. It also allows us to be able to see when large chunks of the, uh, the ground engagement tool fall off and they are on, on the bed and they end up you know, stuck inside of a crusher. Guess what needs to happen? Somebody needs to get into the crusher and cut it out. That's danger because they are now trying to unload the loaded crusher with uh, a man sitting right in front of danger. That's not very good mining. And in the mining that we want to introduce in 2024, we really want something that allows us to be safer in our environment. But also, we have not only just done digital this year, we've got our, our wheeled uh, modular plants full of, I mean, it's big. It shows us what we can do again. It gives us a, a view at what can be done with easy installation that does not disturb the environment when you're doing your crushing plant. It comes in, it does the work, you pull it out. Smart. It's really nice uh, innovation that we've got this year. Obviously, in the introduction of digital, total cost of ownership becomes a big thing for any miner. So some of our equipment, if you come to our stand, we've got this huge 650 MCR pump. Those pumps are not, are not cheap. So you want to be able to use it fully and effectively. So what it, when you have incorporated our digital solutions the next, it allows us to be able to predict when to change, do the change outs of the wet ends. It allows us to see what your power draw is. It allows you to see if anything is going wrong with the, the, with the equipment. It then gives you you are able to then adjust and operate the equipment it is most optimal so the key thing that you've got as a miner is one to use your equipment the best you can for as long as you can and for you to be as efficient as you can our technology allows for that with our motion uh, motion matrix technology what you want to be able to do you want to know what's coming to your crusher you want to know what is on the belt you want to see how efficient your blasting is you want to see how your ground engagement tools are they in good shape? You want to see all that. Motion matrix allows you to do that. It allows you to have a clear view on, on, a, on a screen what is going on around you. And it gives you clear indication of the particle size distribution on your belt, allowing you to be able to efficiently run your plant. All this together gives you a more efficient plant. And guess what? Better total cost of ownership. So it does really give. Uh, as a real benefit for our customers and we want to be a contribution because we want to be part of you know the mining into the future and the future has to have a low to total cost of ownership and greater efficiency so when you look at motion matrix specifically you have got a piece of technology that first of all the first thing that it does it can it gets you to, to have a look at your ground engagement tool. So those those teeth that you see in, in front of you, all the big equipment, you can actually see. First of all, are they healthy? So are they all there? So if one is not there, well, the question is, where is it? Is it on my, on the bed or, or like going towards your crusher? If it is, stop the plant. So you get it out of the way because that becomes a, a problem. Two, 
if it is uh, if it is worn out again your efficiency drops so maybe it's time to do some maintenance work then when it after that when it then looks at what you're picking up and putting on a truck or on a conveyor it gives you a particle size distribution there's a camera on it so that camera with the intelligence that we that it, it operates is able to quickly uh, estimate what the particle size distribution of of the material that you've got there that means what it allows you to do is it either you change your blasting you change how you're mining so that you have got the particle size distribution that you've got on your flow sheet so in other words it takes away the guesswork from mining or rather where you respond after the fact you now start responding in real time so particle size distribution is important because it then gives you the better efficiency in your in your crushing and all that coupled together reduces total cost of ownership increases efficiency and all the things that we want we want to be able to mine in a more cost effective way and even more important in south africa safety has become so important motion matrix technology allows for us to be safe when we don't know where a piece of a large piece of metal is going it becomes a problem and remember the ground engagement too their ground engagement they are hard so when they get stuck somewhere in a piece of kit getting them out creates lots of hazards and dangers for us as people and even more they cause downtime that we do not want so all that put together results when you get that the sum total of that is more efficient uh, production safer and guess what lower total cost of ownership our wheeled modular plant is uh, is something to marvel at not that because it's just beautiful to look at but i think it's uh, because it operates between i think between 30 and 300 tons per hour which is right in the sweet spot for small small mining operations pretty much we can do it in all sorts of combinations we can do them in all sorts of combinations and they can be pulled on the road uh, so really if you have a head of plug and play this is plug and play it's plug and play in that you get there you park it and within maybe a couple of hours you've put up all the safety barriers you've uh, taken out all the fasteners you've got your your stairways up you've got your your protective gear up you've got your generator going if you don't have power close by and guess what you're already operating so it's a quick setup essentially very quick setup you do not do anything pretty much so after you are set up for two hours you probably have an hour to do your commissioning on site commissioning is basically checking that everything is 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 fine nothing got broken along the way so what it does is it gives small scale operations and road road works i mean if you're doing road works you're going to be moving this every maybe every 10 kilometers and this oper this operation is literally because it stays on his wheels so it's is pulled by so we we have we've done the combination at a point where they can be pulled by a normal road haulage uh, truck mm -hmm. that's why the limitation to 300 tons per hour mm -hmm. because the, when it gets bigger than that it then becomes more more static and more a modular plant mm -hmm. but this is fully mobile fully on wheels Obviously, you don't run it on wheels. It is on stilts, so it operates well. So it's, it, when it's parked, it feels like a modular plant, very sturdy, no issues with it. Anyway, if you haven't been to our site, look at our website. It's really something to watch. It's beautiful and works extremely well for any small operation. We are, has, got, has been committed to this continent. And in, by, with its commitment, we have three manufacturing centers within South Africa. We've got service centers right across Africa. Wherever we are, we want to be close to where operations are. If you're not there when you start, by the time we finish your project, we will be there. What it does is that, one, it gives a commitment to this continent. We manufacture 95% of what we, what we sell into Africa. We service everything that we make in Africa by Africans. Each service center is meant by people who are indigenous to that country, not by expatriates. So what it does is that each economy, we leave skills in those areas. We've got an extensive program of training of young engineers who men 
all our service centers, all our customer networks right through the continent. Now that commitment of having a company that looks across all its operations with the view of looking after those who are around them. One, it gives skills. These are people who are getting skills that they get from everywhere in the world. They have access to some of the most experienced engineers that they can ever come across. A lot of them come to South Africa for training so that we ensure that whatever skills we have here that we've benefited over the years of mining in South Africa, those are transferred to the many people across the continent. So when, I, when you look at our network and you, you ask, what does WEA do? WEA is part of the furniture. We are part of the family of Africa. And our commitment has been there. We continue to expand not only our manufacturing capability, which is not only for manufacturing for South Africa on its own, we also export, by the way. So we are part of the greater WEA network of uh, centers that do manufacturing for our own sister companies. But then, and then we ensure that every single service center can service any piece of kit that we have out in the market. So we are really intertwined, part of the general uh, the fabric of Africa. We're not doing it so that we meet uh, some government regulation is similar to BE, of which, by the way, every area that we operate in, we are compliant with local laws. We have localized all the centers where we need to localize in the way that every government expects. But we don't do it for that. We do it because it makes sense. We do it because we sell to people and people buy from people. And those people have to be people that speak the same language. Not just language as in language, but language in terms of technical knowledge, language in terms of understanding the local needs and things that happen in the economy. So we are is really special when it comes, and we compared to no one, I'm quite sure of that.